We're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. Carmona would be proud. Our garage and the inside of our house is overflowing with lumber. Our business has pretty much swallowed and overtaken the entirety of our home. Let me show you. Hi, this is the floor plan of our house. Well, it's not our house, it's a rental house, but this is where we live. I wanna show you how much of the house we have dedicated to the business businesses. It's not art. Like, I want to show you how little of the house we use for living. We have the garage, obviously, but we also have this bathroom. This is connected to this bedroom where our unpaid intern lives, also known as Jenny's brother. But this room used to also be our shipping and fulfillment station, which we had to move out to the living room here. And then we added more. We got a dedicated computer for that business and we're keeping a stock of cutting boards on hand. So it started to fill up pretty quickly. Now I'm gonna show you all the parts of the house that are dedicated to the Jenny Davis business. It's pretty much just this office right in here, which is where we are now, which leaves the rest of the house for personal stuff. So this is a pretty accurate representation of our house and how the area is split among the three different things that we have going on here, which leaves just our kitchen, half the living room, and our bedroom as living space. And understandably so, Jenny does not want to sacrifice any more of this precious orange space for the businesses. And uh, we just bought another Glowforge. Nothing's wrong with our first one. In fact, our first one works so well that we bought a second one. We just realized that the laser is, we realized that the engraving process is the only thing that we can't do with a different tool. We can only do that with the Glowforge. So if something happened to our first Glowforge or it needed to be shipped back for repairs, we were pretty much out of luck. So I sacrificed my little reading corner over there so that we could put the first Glowforge on the floor in that corner and make room for the second one on this table. We also made a few upgrades. Let me show you. All right, so thanks to our buddy Bruce Ulrich, we have a brand new inline fan for the Glowforge. We have turned off the fan that the Glowforge comes with and we only use this one because it is so much quieter. We can actually have a full on conversation while the Glowforge is running. We can hear everything that's going on. It's fantastic. If you have a Glowforge, we highly recommend getting one of these fans. It's made a huge difference for us. So definitely go check out Bruce Ulrich's video if you want a little bit more of like before and after of how that fan works. The link is below the like button in the description. We also turned the laptop to face this way on this end of the table so we'd have a little bit more room for shipping and fulfillment. Well, until the Glowforge came. That got rid of our shipping and fulfillment space temporarily. So I'm pretty happy with how we've managed the space in this house. And I like how we've divided up the sections of the house. It's pretty organized and clear, but we have three people and two businesses living in this relatively small house. And it's just, it's at its limits. This poor house just cannot take anymore. So the next step in our business is to start keeping an inventory of table tops and table bases. Cause after all, we are a table company. We are kind of splitting the difference between like pre-manufactured and built to order tables. So that just inevitably means that we have to have a little bit of an inventory. But you tell me where I'm supposed to put them. According to this diagram, we have no place to put them. So basically we just need another place to put things. The house is completely tapped out. Um, a commercial space would be fantastic, but we're just not at that point yet with enough cash flow and with enough savings that we feel comfortable moving into a commercial space. We're close, we're really close. It's gonna happen soon, but just not right now. And I swear if I trip over the box of crinkle paper one more time, I'm gonna lose it. I might lose it. I may have already lost it. 
welcome. Today we celebrate the opening of our business beyond the garage. We're so thankful for many of you who have been with us every step on this journey. My name is Davis, this is my wife Jenny, and we are the owners of Samara Table Company. I'd like to introduce to you a couple of special people that have made this happen. My name is Davis, this is my wife Jenny, and we are those special people. I would like to thank me for believing in me. I wanna thank me for doing all this hard work. I wanna thank me for never quitting. I wanna thank me for not listening to the knuckleheads in the comment section. I wanna thank me for being me at all times. Jenny and Davis, some bad mother <laughs> 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 Okay. Following our ribbon cutting ceremony is going to be a tour of our facilities, so please stay with the tour guides. We don't want anybody getting lost. We can't afford the lawsuit. This place is expensive. <laughs> So this is our solution. We decided to rent a storage unit. It's just a five by 10 unit, nothing fancy. It's climate controlled, which is nice. Um, but other than that, it's just it's a storage unit, nothing crazy. We're just gonna keep tabletops and cutting boards in here. Uh, we want it climate controlled so that the humidity doesn't make all the wood warp. Um, and we also got our other Glowforge down here in the corner just because we don't need it in the house. We just need it in storage as a backup. So this hopefully will be the stop gap until we can get into a larger commercial space. But and uh, we don't have room for it all in the house, that's for sure. We finally expanded beyond the garage. Pickles, Jenny, pickles. Pickles, big goals. A lot of you watch the intro think I'm saying pickles, but I'm actually saying big goals. I'll have to announce. I don't even like pickles. That's... I like pickles. Maybe, but like, I like big goals better. We're done. It was a good run. <laughs> a good run. So we are beyond excited to start looking at commercial spaces in like different sizes and all that sorts of stuff. We're super excited, but we're not ready to pull the trigger on that yet. So this little rental storage unit is perfect for us because it's allowing us to hold a bit more inventory without having to store it in the house. It's a good solution and it's going to keep us from going crazy, hopefully, before we get into our first commercial space. So subscribe if you want to follow along and be notified of when that day happens. We're super looking forward to it, but uh, we'd love to have you along for the ride as we start our second furniture business down here in the Houston area this time. And uh, things are going better than expected, I guess. Certainly going faster than last yes. time. Fast, yes, faster than last time. Keywords. That's all we can ask for. So. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you like the video and subscribe, follow along with us, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the game.